Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews. Today we're looking at the Anki C800 4K Power Over Ethernet Dome Cameras. As you can see there, 4K, this has got a H.265 Plus compression, smart playback, motion detection and remote access. What I'll do is I'll take everything out the boxes and then we'll have a closer look at each individual product. The cameras, there are four in there. I'm only going to take one out because of course they're exactly the same day, all four dome cameras. And then we'll set it up. We'll have a look at the image quality at the end as well. Four Ethernet cables, two 18 meters and two 30 meters. They cut 5E, that would go into the back of your router or router, and this would go to the camera. You can see it's got this jacket on as well, so waterproof, and it's got an O ring seal on there as well. Quality seems okay. You get instruction booklet, a disc with some software on, mounting template, which is actually quite good that they've included that in some screws and wall plugs. You get a special key there that would open the actual camera because you can't use a normal screwdriver, so make sure you don't lose that. And the cloth for the lens. Onto the actual camera. The camera is made out of metal. It's really strong. 4K, 8 megapixel, IPX67 weatherproof. And the dome cameras are IK10 vandal proof. It's got a protective film on there and they recommend not to remove that until after you've installed the camera because you don't want to get finger marks and stuff. But I'll just quickly show you. It does have a night 30 meters. If you want to open it, you can see the screws there. And of course, that's where the key comes in use. So a normal one will open them. Looking at the bottom, it's got the power over ethernet cable there. That would of course power the camera as well because some of them come with a separate power cable, but this doesn't have that. So these cameras can only be used with the NVR box or if you get a power over ethernet switch. But do bear in mind, if you do use it with the power over ethernet switch, of course you will record the footage. You can view the footage on the app. In this video, I'm just connecting the cameras. I will be doing a follow-up video where I'm going to walk you through the app. If you want to watch that video, stay tuned. And there's the screw at the bottom as well to open the actual camera. They are really tough, these cameras. You can tell they will be getting destroyed very quickly. And that would go in there and then mount it like so. The Anki branding would be at the top. You get instruction manual, all in English. A thank you card. A CD with some software on protected by Anki 24 hour video surveillance sticker, mm. the power brick, a patch cable, a USB mouse. Of course, the quality of the mouse isn't as good, but you don't really need it for anything special here. A remote control. There are no batteries in there. You've got to use your own. HDMI cable, power cable. And in this NVR box, the actual hard disk does not come installed. You've got to install it yourself. First, I was thinking, why have they done that for? But then I thought it's a good thing that actually, because then you could either get the box by itself and then install your own hard disk in, or when you buy it from Anki, you can select which one you want. I've got a one terabyte one. I know these are 4K cameras, but because it uses the H.265 plus compression, that would store a lot more than your normal H.264. So hopefully I should be okay with that. If not, they're really easy to change. And then them are the cables there that you're going to need to install the hard disk in the NVR box and then some screws. Let's have a closer look at the NVR box. The NVR box has a sticker there where you can scan and download the app on your iOS or Android device. At the front, it's got some Anki brand in there, power status and TX, RX. That's to let you know if it's connected to your navigation, menu, escape, and a USB. You could put the actual mouse there if you want to at the back. And that's for infrared. At the bottom, it's got them holes there. That's where the actual screws would go for the hard disk, which I'm going to install and show you in this video as well. This NVR has eight channels to connect, eight cameras, audio in, audio out, but these cameras don't have audio. VGA, HDMI, LAN, USB, so you could connect the mouse here as well if you want. That's where the power cable would go and then power on off. Okay, let's make a start uh, installing the actual disk now. To install the hard disk, the first thing you're going to need is a cross-head screwdriver and remove these two screws on this side and then remove these two. You also need to remove these two screws at the back as well. I'm going to put the cables in first. You don't have to do it this way. You could put the cables in the hard disk first if you want, but I'm going to put them in here first. Same. That one will just go in there. The 
then we've got to match these four holes with them four there and then turn it over and screw it in. Once you've put all the four screws in, then you turn it over and then put the cover on. I need to re-screw two screws there, two screws there and two at the back and then the NVR box is ready to connect up. Let's make a start at connecting everything up now. The remote does not come with batteries, you need two AAA batteries. One end of the lead, of course, would go into that side. Connect that. That would go there. That's your power lead. That's a decent length, the cable there. That, again, is a Cat 5E cable. That, of course, would go in there where it says LAN. And the other end would go into your router or router. I'm in the UK, we call it router. Gold-plated HDMI cable. One end, of course, would go in there and the other end to your monitor or TV. The mouse, I'm just putting it there for now, the front. I've got the camera and the Ethernet cable that just plugs in there. If I just loosen that. Of course, when I install them outside, I will close this properly. That will tighten up. And then I have the ring there as well, so no water would go in there. The other end would go into the box, of course, the NVR box. All I need to do now is connect the other wires, one to my router, one to the HDMI monitor, and of course the power, and then I'll turn it on. Let's move over to the monitor now. First page it's come to is this activation admin. I need to make a password. I've made a password for the actual NVR and the IP camera activation. Press OK. Security questions. Configuration succeeded. No. Password, I'll press no for now. And here it says, draw the unlock pattern first. So just draw anything. Language, English, apply. Start wizard, okay. Just set my time. There we are, London. Next, enable DHCP, yeah, that's enabled. It's about the QR code for Android and iPhone. Scan them, but I'll do that later on. Press next. Here you need to make a verification code, so you could just make anything. Server port and HTT port and stuff. Next, the hard disk. Let's initialize it. Give it a few minutes. Done. Next. Configuration. Start all day continuous recording of all channels. Yes. Motion detection. Start all day motion detection recording of all channels. I'll tick that no for now. Okay. And there we go. Really easy. That's the camera there. So as you can see, everything is up and running now. These are Anki's new brand of cameras. They've released two other models. I will leave a link in the description box below if you're interested in picking them. I'll quickly hover over some of these. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. There is so many. You can really customize this system. First of all, can you see this record sign here? I'll click on that. And then at the bottom, you could see here, it says stop recording, playback, volume, but these don't have volume, of course. And then if you go to zoom, if I scroll forward with my mouse, scroll back, just right click it, it'll bring me back. Right click it again at the top, one by one, two by two. I've only got one camera connected at the moment, but if you have more, then you can change the way you view them as well, as you can see there. Come back on that. The top here, continuous recording, motion detection, playback. Brings you to playback. Click away from there. Output mode. Standard or bright, change that if you want. Add IP camera, previous screen, next screen, and then switch auto. It's got a pin here as well. You could pin this here rather than it going away. On the left hand side, you've got your common menu. These are the ones that are used the most, of course. And the menu, playback, normal and smart. As you can see, as I mentioned before, pick a camera. So camera one, say one hour, and you've got your dates there. So I just press play, loads of features down here, which I'll talk about in another video, else this video is going to go on for a very long time. And you could do event and stuff. And export, you've got your normal export, you could pick your date and time, or you could do the event one. 
back manual record alarm these cameras don't have alarm so back it's really simple to use general so you know how much space you've got left advanced this is a good one this so if you don't want your um, hard disk filling up you could put a number in there and then after that it would stop recording again record go to schedule set times here's where you could set the actual resolution you could record all the way down to 720p or 4k and higher highest Leave it there full frame or you could drop the frames as well and it's recorded in uh, H.265 you can drop it down to H.264 but leave it at H.265 because it's a better output and it takes up less space back out of there the camera which cameras you've got motion here so say if I were to do that now where the clear square is if anything happens there it won't detect any motion there but where it's red of course it will let me know something's happened there and you've got the option to increase or decrease the sensitivity settings what cameras you want I've only got one so D ones on but if you had the rest on you could take them as well of course it goes up to D8 because this is an eight channel one you can mask say I don't want it to look over there I could mask that part out and then just press apply and then it'll only show me the area that I can see that bit's of course masked out it won't show me that but you've got to tick enable mask for that to be in effect video tampering and then video loss Back out of there configuration general we've done that network live view this one's good you can get notifications if your hard drive's full or there's an error or network disconnected back out of there maintenance system info log information alarm importance import export upgrade back out of there support contact info that's the email FAQ scan that and it'll take you to them you have an option 24 months or 36 months guarantee with these and then you've got your logout shutdown or reboot okay all that's left now is to show you some test footage of daytime and nighttime There you go you've seen daytime and nighttime footage of the anki c800 dome cameras overall i think these are fantastic cameras from the get-go they're really easy to put together i've never used power over ethernet cameras before and if you haven't as well i'm sure with these you'll have no problem in using them yes i have used other cameras but if you don't know much about cameras or anything these are the type of cameras you just plug them in and you're ready to go and plus anki do offer 24 months or 36 months guarantee which is fantastic and these dome cameras are really strong using the Anki system you can customize a lot all system is user friendly if you are in the market for some cameras for your home your business I would definitely recommend these I will leave a link in the description box below thank you very much for watching I'll see you all in my next video